scars <clears throat> scars are the permanent marks after any injury it may be pimples it may be chicken pox it may be burn some accident or any other injury that leaves a mark which stays with you right long scars are usually not liked by people sometimes the scars of the soldiers they are treated as a sign of uh, treated with pride but mostly the scars on a layman's body are not perceived well usually for the patient it is a memory of that painful event or that initial injury that may be accident that may be burn or anything the scars are connected with some painful memory and for the society <coughs> usually scars are perceived as either signs of aggressiveness or signs that you became victim of something so scars are neither liked by people nor the patient itself we doctors analyze the scar in different way <coughs> there is a van cor scar scale there the thickness of the scar the pliability elasticity of that tissue then the redness and the vascularity of that scar and the surface regularness so that's all these are the four parameters where the scar is graded so a scar can be severe a scar can be moderate a scar can be mild are the scars treatable mm, yes to some extent because by definition scar is a replacement of normal tissue with the collagen and that stays with you lifelong but with age it the scar matures scar becomes supple <coughs> so those parameters like elasticity there changes so what are the treatments of the scar mm, scar treatment firstly a preventive treatment you can prevent a scar mm, right where it is forming means if you get a injury treat the injury well if it is a big cut you need to take a fine surgical stitches if it is a burn that would need to be healed earlier if it is accidental scar you see that that part is immobilized plaster and the wound heals well so prevention is the best thing which we can do then <clears throat> a young red scar when the scar is young and red that time intense pulse light and the vascular laser so the laser light usually targets the capillaries and prevent that scar from becoming thick so the thick scar means there is a unnecessary more repair you need to repair that wound but not hip it up above the surface if you use the laser this process is balanced the next treatment is resurfacing if it is a thick scar you need to remove that excess collagen if it is a atrophic scar if there is a depth you need to feel that part so resurfacing is the next <clears throat> mechanism of the treatment then you need to change the type of collagen usually is our body has the collagen but there is a good collagen scar has usually the bad collagen the ratio of the good and bad collagen is reversed in the scars so the treatment aims at changing the percentage of the good and the bad collagens all these treatments together will give improvement in the parameter of the scar so what are the treatments the treatments available are firstly the pressure whenever you have a scar and there's thick we need to have pressure on that maybe a, a pressure garment elastic jacket that will press the scar 24 hours in a day and that will prevent the further thickening of the scar especially true in the burn scars <clears throat> now you have the atrophic scar like chicken pox scars like pimple scars there the problem is not excess collagen it's a less collagen then you need something which will produce a new collagen below the skin so the fractional lasers derma roller needling radio frequency high intensity focus ultrasound so all those laser and similar devices stimulate the new collagen formation below the skin so the <clears throat> it this newly formed collagen may not be enough to lift the base of the scar completely there we add one more treatment that is called a subsision subsidial means we need to release the base of the scar from the deeper tissue so the 
base of the deep scar which is attached to the deeper tissue is released by a needle that's called as subsision then we need to feel that scar if it is a very much depressed scar you can feel hat there you can feel a injectable filler in that depression so these are the ways to treat the scar now the most common scars what we see is post accidental and the burn as a hypertrophic scar there a fractional laser works best so the latest advances in the scar treatment has come to the world in a form of a fractional ultrapulse laser this fractional ultrapulse laser makes the vertical channels in the skin maybe 100 micron wide but around 6 to 800 micron deep so this vertical channels will destroy the old collagen that will stimulate the formation of new collagen and slowly the ratio of the old and new collagen changes and that scar tissue gets more of a new and natural collagen changing the texture of the scar so a combination of subsision pressure garments some creams for the scar and mainly a fractional ultrapulse laser so ultrapulse deep effects ultrapulse active effects those are the best scar laser available in the world and fortunately those are available in india first time in india in skin setting <clears throat> lastly about the keloids keloids are a very special kind of the scars where they you get a scar which is growing without any stimulus without any injury you are getting a scar on your shoulder or you get a scar on your chest and that keeps on growing that gets infected and that's become annoying so treating the keloid <coughs> was impossible in the past but nowadays a combination of fractional ultrapulse scar fx laser which is mainly uh, designed to treat very thick scars combined with the transcutaneous delivery of the drugs which modify this collagen this combination works best for the hypertrophic scar burn scars and keloids so a sessions treatment session once in 2 months maybe over a period of a year that will flatten this keloid burn hypertrophic scar to a extent which was not possible in the past